Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Excuse my voice, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm on the mend, so that's good news. But before we jump into today's video, which as you can see by the title is about my updated fitness routine and kind of what's going on in that area of my life right now, um, I wanted to let you guys know that as of today, Andrew and I's spring challenge enrollment is open and we are so excited to help a bunch of you guys transform your body, your mind, your life, your confidence, bring you a new sense of community, and just, it's going to be a great time. So before we jump into the video, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about our challenge in case it is something that you might be interested in, and then we will jump into like the main event. So we had some absolutely amazing transformations from our last challenge, and we just know that like what we do works and if you commit to the plan and you just follow the plan and stay patient you will see freaking amazing results in just eight weeks so i want to let you guys know everything that's included in the challenge and i do have it written down so i don't forget anything so the challenge starts on april 2nd and starting then you'll get eight weeks of workouts a custom macro plan a custom cardio plan weekly check-ins with us um my flexible dieting ebook that will teach you how to um do flexible dieting if you don't know already. You'll get access to our app, which is for tracking your workouts and tracking your progress, access to the exclusive Facebook community for just the challengers, and in the group we also will be doing bi-weekly Facebook Live sessions, so those are kind of like workshops and Q&A sessions. And then there will also be prizes for all the standout competitors. We're accepting a super limited number of people because we do like it, like to keep it like personal and hands-on and kind of more of a tight-knit community. We'll either have enrollment go until March 31st or whenever it fills up, um, whichever comes first. The challenge will officially start on April 2nd and will run for eight weeks. As I mentioned earlier, Andrew and I coach this together, which is really fun for us. We both have like individual clients, but it's really fun for us to do something together. Um, and since you guys already know like everything about me pretty much, I'm just gonna bring Andrew in and he's gonna kind of give you like a formal introduction. You see him in all of my videos pretty much, but I wanted him to tell you kind of like what his background is and what his coaching is like and stuff, just so you get to know him on that level. So, babe, come hither. Me, 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 Come sit. Introduce yourself. Are you gonna be in this too? If you want, I can I can get out of it. No, no, I don't care. Ollie, you wanna be in it too? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You wanna be in it too, Bubba? Hey guys, I'm Andrew, and a little bit about my fitness background. Um, I grew up playing all sorts of sports and eventually went on to play football in college. In college, I earned a dual degree in math and exercise science, so I'm basically the ultimate... <laughs> Tail slaps. <laughs> Keep going. It's okay. We're not going to edit this. This is real life. <laughs> so I'm basically the ultimate fitness nerd. Um, I did in-person coaching for about three and a half years before transitioning completely online where I am now a full-time fitness and life coach. Um, my approach to fitness is all about uh, finding the root cause of any challenges that you're facing and building a sustainable plan around that for long-term results. Um, I, I love doing these challenges with Marie because the community is a lot of fun. I like training a lot of people at once. Um, I learn a lot along the way too, uh, which is really cool for me. And uh, yeah, just excited to do this one and uh, all future ones to come. Yeah, you guys, he's such a good coach. It makes me so proud and you're gonna love him. So, um, yep, we're super excited and we are stoked to see y'all's enrollments start rolling in. The first link in the description will be the challenge enrollment link and like I said spots are limited so if you're thinking about it definitely go check it out and sign up sooner rather than later um, there's a questionnaire and everything in there to get you started so yeah we're pumped and without further ado let's hop into the video I'm gonna talk about my current fitness routine and first we're gonna head to the gym and I'm gonna do a workout and kind of talk you guys through it. and Andrew's gonna film so leave Andrew a thank you for being my Instagram and YouTube boyfriend in the comments below because he's the real MVP of this channel. Okay, see you at the gym. 
Hi friends, welcome to the voiceover and thank you for sticking with us during that challenge info. Today I really just wanted to give y'all an update on what I'm currently doing in regards to my workouts right now since that has been a huge FAQ ever since I first opened up about my health issues and all of that fun stuff. So in case you're new to the channel, quick recap, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease um, that one of the symptoms is hypothyroidism. And after I received that diagnosis, I really had to look at every aspect of my lifestyle and make lots of changes all over the place. So because of that, I spent a lot of last year only really working out like two to four days per week so that I wasn't putting excessive stress on my body and so that it could actually recover. And that definitely helped me with getting my menstrual cycle back as well, which is awesome. But I really enjoy being active, so it's hard for me to be that limited. And since then, I've slowly scaled my activity levels up. So now I'm still resistance training like three to four days per week now, but I'm also doing other forms of exercise on the other days, like horseback riding, running, yoga, lots of different things, which is really fun. So pretty much every single day, I walk at least one to two miles between Andrew and I's morning walks and then walking on the treadmill before or after my workouts. And walking is a really great low stress form of exercise. And since I work from home and sit all day, it's just super necessary for me to get those steps in. So here you're seeing me walking, obviously. I like to do it at a light incline, nothing too strenuous because I do use this as a form of stress management, but enough to get my heart rate up and a little sweat going. So that feels good. On the days that I do resistance train, I've switched up my workouts quite a bit so that they're shorter but more intense because I focus a lot on density, which means I try to complete a lot of work in a short amount of time. Because keeping my heart rate up and maximizing my time are priorities, and because I'm only resistance training three to four days per week, I typically like to incorporate my full body into each session, so I'll emphasize the big compound movements like hip thrusts, squats, presses, pulls, etc. All, all those movements, as well as movements that are more focused toward raising my heart rate and giving me a good burn. So for example, this is a tri set of barbell hip thrusts, goblet squats, and kettlebell swings. So I'm really activating the glutes and working on that muscle as well as getting a conditioning burst in with those um, kettlebell swings too. Training like this is really great for people who are working on rebalancing their hormones and lowering their cortisol like me because shorter and more intense exercise will lead to positive hormonal changes, whereas longer workouts like a powerlifting workout or even steady state cardio can be too taxing on your body if it is in a delicate state like mine is. So the golden rule here is just to listen to your body and notice how you feel after your sessions. You should feel more energized and ready to take on the day, not totally drained. That would be a sign that you're overdoing it. And I'm not saying that a powerlifting workout is bad or that steady state cardio is necessarily bad, but it's all about context. And right now those things would not be conducive to me restoring my health. So I'm at a point where I also feel good adding in some interval running and a little bit of cardio, which is great. It took me a while to get here, but I've been dabbling in that a little bit as well and it feels awesome. So in addition to those dedicated cardio sessions, I'm just really focusing on keeping my heart rate up throughout my lifting sessions too, so I can keep those short and sweet. And I do like to finish them off with some kind of conditioning blast at the end that incorporates multiple muscle groups, including my core typically. So today in this video, I did this superset, which was totally made up this first exercise. They are med ball plank jacks to curls and then med ball ground to overheads. And this combo is just really killer for your shoulders, core, um, and cardiovascular endurance. And I'm kind of obsessed with doing movements and supersets like this right now. Um, once I do that, I either like to stretch or foam roll. I'm not the best at making sure that I incorporate those into my workouts every day, but I do really try. So that is my current fitness routine, current fitness regimen. If you guys have any questions about what I do or why I do it, feel free to leave a comment down below and either I'll make another video or just reply to you down there. One thing that I really want you guys to get from this video is that it's super important to listen to your body and do your own thing. It doesn't matter if everyone else is working out six days a week. It doesn't matter if you have that friend that's like super hardcore, no days off, seven days per week, killing it. First of all, that's probably not healthy, but it doesn't matter what the trendy thing is. It doesn't matter what 
other people are telling you to do. Do what makes you feel good. Do what is working for your body and do what is going to be a healthy choice for you. Personally, working out six days per week is not going to be beneficial for my health right now like running my body into the ground is not going to be beneficial for my health right now. So um, it's just really important to be in tune with yourself and realize that every choice you make has a positive or negative impact on your health and what's healthy for one person may not be healthy for someone else. So move your body in ways that promote health, um, are enjoyable, are sustainable, and make you feel good. Thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate you guys and I will see you again very soon. Bye.